Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 Hours. In this video, we will first start with the GCD and LCM functions. Uh, so to begin with, in column A, we start plugging in some numbers uh, randomly so that we have some values. Then we put the data headers as GCD or HCF as taught in school. Some teachers teach it as uh, greatest common divisor. Some teachers and books mention it as highest common factor. The concept is the same. The function in Excel is GCD. Uh, it basically has uh, one input parameter and that's the range of data. So we say equal to GCD and select the range of numbers of which the GCD function needs to be calculated. We repeat the procedure for LCM, least common multiple. The formula uh, and the function is also equal to LCM. Same input range is nothing but the data range across which the LCM needs to be calculated. Now, in column A, we will randomly change the values and you can see uh, in the target GCD and LCM cells, uh, the values change according to the input change. Now, let us understand how to get the quotient and remainder using Excel functions. So, the moment we say we want quotient and remainder, then we of course uh, need a divisor as well. So, in column B, now we will introduce uh, a divisor function, again randomly plugging in some values. In column C, we will take the quotient. We are only interested in the integer value of the quotient. So, to do that, we will use the round down function. The round down function has two parameters. One is the input function itself or whatever. It could be an input number or it could be something. In this case, it is basically going to be the number divided by the divisor. That is going to be the first part. That's the operation. The second part is for how many decimals do we want the rounding of? And for us, because we are interested in the integer value of the quotient, we don't want any decimal values. So we specify the decimal uh, point as zero so that we are only left with the uh, integral part, the integer part of the quotient. So we plug in the function equal to round down uh, and choose the appropriate number and divisor with the division function and the second parameter as zero and then we just use the drag and drop function everywhere across the column. Now for the remainder that is there after this division is over, the remainder basically comes in from the fact that there were some decimal points. So to get the remainder, we will use the mod function. So what is mathematically known as a remainder, the Excel function to calculate that is mod. So we say equal to mod and the two parameters are the number and the divisor. So we choose those uh, uh, data cells or reference cells and automatically uh, the remainder will be calculated and using the drag and drop function we do it for all the rows of data. We can double check if the entire operation has been okay or no. So we'll just apply the quotient divisor and remainder concept in column E because any number is equal to, the formula is number is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. So we do that in column E and double check if we get the original number. Yes, everything seems okay. Thank you.